G'day guys, this is Rob from troutlaw.com.au, Australia's fly tying specialist store. Today we're going to be tying my polywing caddis. It's a simple pattern, only has a few ingredients, and best of all, it catches fish. So let's get started. We are going to come in with an Arex FW500 hook in size 10, tied in a 10, tied in a 12, 14, it works for all of them. Then we're going to use Vivas. 6.0 thread in brown. If you go down to the smaller sizes, you'll probably step down to the 8.0 thread, but the 6.0 works fine for the 10. Starting just behind the hook eye, we're going to advance the thread down the shank, right down to the bend of the hook, trim that off. Then we're going to come in with this new dubbing from Chuck and Duck. It's the electric seal in the golden flame color. It's a really fun dubbing to work with, easy to work with. Plenty of texture to it and it glows UV hot. So it uh, catches plenty of sunlight. So a bit of dubbing wax in to start with on the thread and then we'll start building a fine dubbing needle with this stuff. It's one of the easier seal fur substitutes I've found to work with. Dubs quite nicely. Then we're just going to cover the hook evenly. I don't want to build up a lot of bulk. Just get a, a nice coating. Fairly consistent down the length, not tapering it too much. Just to act as an underbody. So we will continue adding more to the thread and keep bringing this down almost to the hook eye, keeping it a bit thinner at the front and then come back to about the one third mark. Then we'll just trim that off a little on the top so we see where we're working with. And now we tie in a wing. For that, we're using FTD Congo here. Um, this is one of their bait fish blends, uh, this sand olive brown. So it's three different colours mixed in there. And from that, we're just going to pull out a clump to match your wing up. Get a clump that's about the size of the hook gape. So if you're tying a smaller fly, Go with the thinner clump, tying the bigger fly, you go the bigger clump. So cut that off from the from the hank, and then we just want to trim the end of that so it's nice and straight and even tips. With that pinched, we will just give our thread a spin. And that way you'll see as I lift it up, the thread wants to jump backwards. So we can place that down just behind the hook eye. The thread will jump back over our material in a couple of loose wraps and then pull up. If you make sure to do those loose wraps and then pull upwards, it's not going to spin the material around the hook shank and pull it around the side or keep it on top. Then still holding pressure on our left hand. We'll pinch forward and bind down, capturing all those fibres and then work our way back like so. Then we're going to take a hackle and we use a, a, a lighter coloured ginger. You can use a, a lighter coloured um, grizzly or a dun colour. As you can see, I've stripped one side already. I'll just strip it away a little bit more with the thumb and the forefinger using the thumbnail to strip the fibers off the right hand side of that hackle. And then coming down to the base, we'll just pull away half a dozen or so fibers at the tip just to expose the center. And then we will tie that in a 
so that it's ready to wrap in the right direction. And we just start touching wraps to bring this forward, fill up that head that we've built up with the thread. Nice full bulk of hackle there. And then one wrap behind the hackle another wrap behind the hackle, pull the hackle back, one wrap in front, pull the hackle forward, and another wrap behind. That's not going anywhere. Then we'll take our half inch tool, and we'll pop a little half inch in place there. So now we can trim off that hackle, get rid of those couple of fibers that were caught and come in and whip finish careful not to capture any of those hackle fibers a three point whip finish there and another three turn whip finish And we can cut that off. Now we've just caught one of those hackle fibers in there. We'll just trim them out. While our trim scissors are in our hands, we're going to go underneath and trim that hackle parallel to the hook shank. So that way it sits nice and low in the film. Then we're going to take a loon UV in the thin and pulling this wing back, we're just going to put a little drop in there behind the hackle. And with our bodkin, with our bodkin, just spread that through the back of that hair pulling it tight and back get a UV torch and dry that up as you can see that dubbing underneath lights up under the UV light what that little bit of UV resin is going to do is hold that wing in place and force it to sit down rather than popping up so it's going to send it back where we need it to be to begin creating our caddis wing so there's a couple of errant fibers in there just trim them out and now we want to come back and trim the back of this wing out we're just going to go a little bit behind the bend of the hook and on a slight angle trim like so. Then I just like to shape the top of that wing slightly. This stuff is fantastic. It holds its shape and allows you to do to trim in like so. Very much like EP fiber but the ends don't tend to fray as much so you can get a more defined shape when you're wanting to build a body like that and then just trim out some of those fibers underneath and there you have it a very simple very fast and easy to tie caddis pattern that sits low in the film captures plenty of light and best of all captures the attention of the fish so tie yourself up a few go out there fish them fish them with confidence and uh, enjoy if you like this video please hit the like button uh, if you want to see more hit the subscribe button to follow our channel and until next time happy tying